This lesson is all about global blocks and display conditions in Brizzy. Now when you're building a website, there's going to be lots of times you're going to have various different sections that are going to be repeated on your design. For example, things like headers and footers. This is where it makes sense to make them global and apply them to every single page or apply specific conditions. So first of all, let's take a look at how we can take this header and make it a global header, which will be on every single page of our site. All we need to do is come up and select the section. We're going to choose the first icon and inside there we have a checkbox that says make it global. Couldn't be much simpler. Let's check that option. That now becomes a global section. Now Brizzy makes it really easy to see what sections inside your design are global. If we come over this new section, you can see we get the little global icon right above the section options. So next let's talk a little bit about display conditions. Now display conditions are only going to be available if you have Brizzy Pro. But how do they work? Let's come back up to our header section. Let's select it one more time and let's open up the options. Now we've got make it global is enabled and we've got display conditions. Let's open that up and this will now show us the display conditions that are active for this particular global section. So let's start by taking a look exactly what's going on. You can see this is where do you want to display this particular global section. We have include. We also have the option for exclude. Really simple. We can then say where we want to either include or exclude it. So at the moment, this is included in a page and only less than 15. However, we can change this very easily. Let's change this from pages and we can say we want to set this to all. The header we're going to display on every single page on our site. And that's what we've done. We now need to click on save. And now every single page we have on our site and every new page we create will have this header displayed on it. Now that's pretty awesome and very, very easy. But let's say you had a page, just one page, you didn't want to include this on. Well, this is where we can add extra conditions. So while we set this up to be available on all our pages, we can add another condition in. This time we're going to say to exclude, we're going to choose a particular page in this example, and we're going to go and find lesson 10. So now what we're saying is include this in all the pages except for page lesson number 10. We'll hit save on there. We'll close the conditions window down and we'll update our design. So let's check that out. This is lesson 15, the one we're currently working on. We've just updated it. Let's take a look at lesson 10 now where we set this to not display this header. And there you go. The header is not displaying on this particular page. Now that we've saved our first global block, let's create another one and let me show you a couple of other things that you need to be aware of when working with global blocks. For this example, let's use this testimonial. We'll click and this time we'll choose the little cog icon. We'll make this global and now we have this inside our global blocks library. Now, when you're ready to add any of your global blocks to your designs, all you need to do is come over and click on the plus, and then we can go to the global block section, and that will list all of the global blocks you currently have saved. So you can see there's our header, and there's our testimonial section. Now, you'll notice when we hover over these, it tells us you can't add this again. You can't add two instances of the same global block to the same page. However, you can add them to other pages where they're not included. So it's worth bearing that in mind. Now, there's a difference between a global block and a saved block. Now, currently, we don't have any saved blocks. So let's go and save a block so I can show you. Let's hop back over to a design, and let's say we want this header section. We're going to click again on this section, simply click the heart icon, and that will now save that to your saved blocks. So again, let's go and take a look at our saved blocks. Let's open this up, choose Saved, and you can see now we have our saved blocks listed here. So let me quickly explain the difference between a saved block and a global block. Saved blocks can be inserted any number of times into any part of your design on a single page or across your entire site. However, if you make a change to any of those saved blocks, only that specific block will have the changes. Every other instance will retain the original design. However, if you look at global blocks, for example, the navigation at the top of our header, if we make changes to that, everywhere that is instanced on our entire site, those changes will update everywhere. That's the key difference between your save blocks and your global blocks. Okay, so the final thing we need to cover is how to delete your global blocks. So you may be thinking all you need to do is simply come up to the block you want to remove, click the options and click on the trash can. And that will remove it from the page you're currently working on. However, if you want to move it from your entire site or everywhere it's used on your site, this is achieved by basically removing all the conditions. So let's just open up the option where we can set this to be global open up the display conditions. So now all we need to do is actually delete those conditions. So we'll remove the first one, we'll remove the second one, and we'll hit save. 
And there we go. That's now removed it from your entire site. So we can close this down. And that global block has now been removed from our site and from our global block library.